So recently, a few image synthesis artificial intelligent bots like Midjourney, Disco Diffusion, and Dolly gained lots of traction. These bots are also known as prompt to image bots, which translate any given prompts into computer generated images, trying their best to illustrate exactly the description given to them. In many cases, this process results in intriguing imagery that tries to create an image of something that does not exist sometimes so accurate and realistic that it can be mistaken with a real photograph or a picture of a real architecture project. But if we can just create a painting without a painter, a photograph without a photographer, or even a building without an architect, with an unbelievable quality and with the speed of light, then why would we need all of those painters, artists, and architects anymore? How can we, as architects, use these bots in favor of our jobs and leverage artificial intelligence to design extraordinary buildings? How can we use bots like Midjourney, Dolly, and Disco Diffusion right now in our design process as well as representation? I will tell you all about these intriguing topics in this video, but just before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't, as I'm creating videos like this on a weekly basis. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Amir and I'm a Master of Architecture graduate based in London and in this video, I will be showing you how we can use bots like Dolly, Midjourney and Disco Diffusion and others in our architectural design process. So let me start by showing you what these image synthesis AI bots can do and then show you what we can do with them. The bot that I'll be focusing on this video is called Midjourney, which can be accessed via their Discord channel. For this, you can go to their website at midjourney.com and there you can join their Discord channel and then you can see so many different rooms and you know people talking about different stuff and creating and generating different imagery in each of these rooms. You can then go to one of these general rooms or the rooms called newbie rooms to see what people are generating. Often the rooms are super crowded and messy and you might get lost, but try less busy rooms to avoid this. When you sign up to Midjourney, you have up to 25 free images to generate. But if you subscribe to their monthly subscription, depending on your plan, you get to generate much more images. Plus, getting a private room for yourself so that your work doesn't get lost in between other people's images. I personally would suggest subscribing to their $10 a month plan, which allows you to generate up to 200 images per month and you get to cancel your subscription whenever you want. They are not sponsoring this video, but hey, Midjourney. Hit me if you want to, you know, sponsor one of these videos. A paid plan doesn't make any difference in the quality of the images, but only lets you generate more of them. So the first thing you want to do is type forward slash imagine in the typing bar section, and then type in whatever you want the bot to generate for you. There are tons of really good resources out there in the internet that tells you how to write and what exactly to use in your prompts to receive the best result that you're looking for. I'll put some links in the description, so check them out. When this process is done, you can select your favorite image and either scale it up to get a higher resolution image with much more detail, or you can also generate new variations from your favorite image. The tip here is that the best results usually come after trying a few different variations of the most interesting images until the concept evolves quite a bit and the bot shows you some mind-blowing results. You can also see all of your creations on their website if you sign in with your Discord and you will be able to see other results from other creators as well as their prompts which they use to generate those images. You can see most of the interesting images are the result of evolving a single concept over and over again until the bot gives you the perfect results. So let's now talk about how AI bots like Midjourney can help us in architecture. Well, there are multiple ways that we can use AI bots today to help us in architecture design, but with the ongoing advancements of AI, they can be expanded in multiple other ways. 
Today, we can use AI bots as muse to give us a sense of how a place could look like while in early design stages. We use tools like Pinterest almost in every single project to be inspired by the work of others. And now you can generate your own inspirational images by typing a few prompts. As we give more specific prompts to AI bots, they will also generate for us more accurate results. Therefore, architects can describe exactly how they want their ideal space to look like, including the materials, as well as the spatial composition and architectural elements that the bot can speculate on how this space might actually look like with few sketches and give us some early stage ideas. We can also use these AI bots to generate different variations of a design project by specifying how we want the design to alter. This can be simply done by using an existing image of the project and then typing how we want the bot to change a specific design element or the materiality of the building shown in the picture. At the moment, this feature is not available in Midjourney as much, but it is available in DALI 2, where you can highlight a specific area of your image and tell the bot what you want to change or add to it. This will help us to generate and present a variety of options for a design proposal to a client almost instantly in the client meeting as the client requests them. Another practical example of how we can use AI bots in architecture would be in the representation of our project. We usually spend loads of time and money to produce high quality renders to present our ideas to a client or help to sell the project. We also use different mediums and tools for representation, such as sketching, collaging, and 3D modeling. Now, we can use AI bots to generate for us an image in each of these styles by giving it only a single input from the project. The AI can translate the input images into the desired styles for us to present to our clients without needing to do any extra work. We can even then modify and make better the settings of each result. For example, if you want the lighting to alter to a specific color or direction, we can tell the AI bot to do that for us. And if you want a certain detail to be softened or highlighted, then again the AI can process these changes as we employ them to do it for us. Now let's talk a little about the future of AI bots and where we think they will get us to. There are concerns that AI will soon steal our creative jobs and make us jobless. In fact, even these tiny free bots like Midjourney can now do a lot of what graphic designers get paid to do. So there will be definitely a degree of overtaking creative jobs like graphic design, but at the same time, it will create a lot of new jobs that we haven't thought about them before. AI will help us in the design process as well as the delivery of projects and saves us a lot of money and time for the tasks that we don't have to do ourselves anymore. And instead lets us concentrate on the most important aspects of the design. We can speculate that AI will be able to also help us in producing the technical packages of a project as well as our design compliance with building regulations. There are already examples of software developed by companies like Upcode which can be employed to do this for us even now. 3D AI bots will probably be the next thing as well allowing us to produce 3D models based on 2D drawings almost instantly for a process that can take up to days if not weeks or months for a project. These 3D AI tools will also be able to turn their own generated images to a full 3D model by click of a button or can even generate new 3D models by giving new prompts straight away. This was a summary of the possibilities of AI in architecture and design. And please subscribe to the channel if you are interested in the conversation, as I will bring my favorite AI and architecture startups in the next video to show you what can be done with this in the world of business as well. Also, don't forget to like the video if you found it useful, as it will help the video to reach more people. And please let me know what you think AI will bring to the conversation in the near future in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you have a great rest of today and see you in the next video.